hello good morning all today in this video we are continuing with the video we have shared you about how to create the your report in Odoo so in the previous video we have shown you how to generate a report from the scratch so what we have done is we have added a new report for the patient that is patient card for this what we have done is that we have created a new folder that is reports folder and inside the reports folder we have created a file that is report.xml and inside the file we have called the report tag that is in the report tag we have given the id for the report that is report patient card then the given string as patient card which you are seeing right now here and i have specified the model name that is hospital.patient and report type is your pdf and given name and file for the report that is report patient so if we have done only this much you will get a print button as well as the report here so now i have to design the report with the this name that is report patient so for that i have added a new file that is patient card.xml and inside that file i have defined the template with any given name that is here you are calling a template with the name report patient same re uh, template is defined inside and another file so here i have made some changes here in the file for better looking and some changes just there is nothing just template id report patient t called web html container and t for each docs as o so inside o object that is o dot name like that if we call o dot name using this o you can call the objects in the model if you dot call o dot let me activate the developer mode from here i will activate the developer mode so if you call o dot this field name you will get the value of this field that is if you call o dot patient age you will get 10 if you go to call o dot uh, gender you will get female like that using o you can call the objects in the uh, object you will get an object of the current record so i have called next t call web external layout the external layout you can see that is if you call the external layout you will get the company uh, logo company details in the header and the footer of the report so now inside the div class page i will define the report so here i have some put some this br that is for some spacing so I will just show what we are getting right now. So if I print the report from here, so from the patient card, I will print the report. So what we are getting right now is that you can see company logo and company details is coming at the top. And if I move to the bottom of the screen, you can get phone number, email, website like that details is coming. So this header and footer is coming from the web external layout. So if you remove this web external layout, you won't get the same things there. So you can see if I we have two layouts available that is external layout and internal layout. So I have changed the external layout to the internal layout. Now if I go and upgrade up go to the apps menu and if I upgrade the module, you can see now I will upgrade the module. Okay, the module is getting upgraded. So I have just removed uh, the internal and uh, external layout and set the layout as internal layout. So what we get with the external layout is this and right now I have changed it to the internal layout. Now if I print the report, I'm going to print and print the report. If I print the patient card, you can see the header and footer is changed. You can see header is in another format. So if I check the earlier report, you can see you can just compare the different this one is external layout and this one is the internal layout so if you need to get the company logo company details in the top you have to use external layout and this is the internal layout so i think better we go with the external layout so i'll change it to the external layout itself and i will update the module once again okay I'll upgrade the module once again so if we upgrade the module we will get a i will uh, close the internal layout what we will get will be like this we will have a table here inside you can see a spacing coming here so this spacing is coming from this lines of code that is using the br the, for the new line so this spacing is coming from that line then after that spacing you can see oh, oh, div structure class div structure you have to give that and you have to be class row and this is also you have to give like that then inside you can see here you have to give you are giving a table a table with uh, one row and two columns so this is the table you are getting so just uh, make some changes inside the table so i will remove my commented codes so i'll just remove the commented codes what here i have done is i will call the o dot image you can see o dot image 
Odot image means if I go to the hospital, you can see if I take Odomix patient, you can see this field name is image. So I am calling the image of the corresponding record and I will paste that is image T if, if the image is not existing, that is T if not Odot image. I will show placeholder.png which is specific, uh, given inside the web static src will be shown there if there is image for the uh, record you will show display the image of the patient there and bottom of that in i will show the name of the patient that is o dot patient name so let's upgrade the module and let's see what we are getting right now so i will go to the apps menu and i will upgrade the module once again okay the module is getting upgraded so after the module is upgraded earlier what we have get is just a blank table right now we will get the image as well as the patient name inside the table so for that i will go to the hospital menu and i will print the all roommates of patient record and if i print the patient record okay it's loading if i open it you can see the image is coming here that is image you have given here it is coming here inside the report as well as the name is automates the name we have uh, name we have given for the patient is also coming here now this is how you just added an image you can see here inside the table we have defined a column and inside that column we have added the patient name that is this is the code for adding the patient name o dot patient name and this is the code for giving the image of the patient that is with o dot image now let's uncommented this code that is we have split the table into two columns that is this is the one column and here we have one column now we will fill the data here in this column so for that i will just uncomment the code we have given here so now i will upgrade the module so i will go to the apps menu and i will upgrade the module once again so from here i will upgrade the module okay so once after the module is upgraded you will get the details like you can see here we have contact age phone number etc also corresponding that we have printed the corresponding values also o dot patient age o dot age group or dot name etc so the module is updated so i will go to the hospital menu i'll take the same record o domains and if i print the patient card you can see it's opening yeah so if i click on okay you can see the image is coming there name is there and age is contact there is something missing phone number is 54 let me check so, contact okay contact should be um, age group this should be age uh, just the given the label as wrong age and age group okay look at the name that is this is the age and i have corresponding give the age value that is order patient age here i have called the age group age group value is inside the Ordered age group and the phone number is inside the you can see if I move to the patient dot py contact number or is test field name field you can see the contact number is inside the name field so I have given here order name and age group is inside age group is inside age group field age underscore group so I have just updated the code and if I go to the apps and I will upgrade the module once again so from here I will upgrade the module once again okay getting yeah module is upgrading so we will print the report once again and earlier when we print the report there was missing lab, no, labels are given wrongly so i will go to hospital open the corresponding record and i will print the report once again that is patient card is getting printed so if i open the report you can see yes uh, let me reduce the size of the screen the report you can see age group major age group is major phone number that is phone number is contact number it's coming here and age is 54 yes age is 54 and the image is coming here that is image is giving the patient name is coming there so this is how you can define a pdf report in odo i've just covered once more I will, from the start i will uh, explain once more what we have done we have created a new folder that is reports so i have already explained the re reported related files are placed inside a uh, reports folder for better understanding of the code uh, so inside the reports folder i have created a file that is report dot report tag is added here inside the report.xml and here i have given an id for the report 
a string is given here specify the corresponding model report type which is your pdf and from here i will call the corresponding template of the report so if you've done this much and if you call this uh, file inside the manifest file definitely you will get a print button here in the top side of the screen with the given name but if you click on the report right now you will get an error that is external id is not found like that error you will get now you have to de uh, design the report template of the report that is with the report patient so i will i have added another file for defining the template uh, inside this i have defined the corresponding template so if i if this code is not there if you commit it out this code you will get an empty report from here but here i have shown you how to design the report also so using this o that is t for each dog as o inside o you will get object of the corresponding record that is this record so you can see you, will, you can right now we have three, here are three records so we have the option to print the records from here also so if i print the records from here if i open it you will get three records at a time that is here is patient odu then here you can get the patient yasin and here for the uh, this patient we haven't given that image so it's coming as the uh, icon of the cam camera and if I go to third position, you can see that's odd image. You have the odd icon there. So that's here we are iterating the records. If we are uh, printing it from the for loop, for loop, uh, iterating from if we are printing from the tree loop tree view, we have multiple records here. Then using O, you will get, can access the values inside the record. So you can see uh, from here O dot image is called and this is how the format of the printing image in the QR. Then using ordered patient name, I have called the patient name. And here I have in one column, I have set the uh, uh, string like age, group, and phone number. And in the corresponding opposite side of that uh, column, I have printed ordered patient age, ordered age group, and ordered name. So what we are getting right now is, if I go to order mates and print the report once again, you can see we have successfully designed a report in order 12. So if you have any queries or you need this code, you can ping us over the mail that is odomates at gmail.com. We are happy to share this code, this developed code freely for you for the better understanding of the video. So if you have any queries, comment it out. We will reply you as soon as possible. Please subscribe and like our channel for more updates. Thank you.